Hello everyone. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will be taking care of a new sensor that is AD799. And to get more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com. And here we have to search for this sensor. And as you can see, this is our sensor. It's a four channel, eight, 12, or 10 bit analog to digital converter. And these are some of its more prominent features which you are able to see on my screen. And as a plus point, you can also purchase this sensor from here, right from here. For the interfacing purpose, I will be taking care of this sensor AD799 using an Arduino Nano. And Arduino code is required for that. And so let's go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now you can have this Arduino code sample from here as zip file. And you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what do we require next is to have a look over some hardware connections and let's have a look over that also. Now in the hardware connection setup part, uh, the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Next we require an I2C sheet just like this. Now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So for that, gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection like that. For the power up function, what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here, the power jack. Now we require our sensor that is analog to digital converter AD799 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make a connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C sheet. So we are done with all the connections we need for this setup. Now let's have a look over the code and let's interface. For the interfacing part, first of all we require to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you can see on my screen just right here and after that we have to search for the sensor that is ad 7 9 and here we are with this sensor as you can see and this here is the Arduino code but before moving to the code explanation let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow through and these are we have to download and install Arduino software IDE on our local machine and the steps are on www.arduino.cc and let's open up this link and let's see what we got here and as you can see, we can download the Arduino software from this very site and it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux. It's your choice on which platform do you want to use this software. And after downloading this software, what do we require is to get back to the Arduino code. As you can see, it's a .in extension file. Now in the code, uh, let me explain one by one. First of all, we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x29. Now in the void setup function, we have initialized I2C communication as master along with serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. And we come to the writing section part where we are going to select the configuration register channel 1 enabled and it will go as our writing part which is 0x10. After that in a void loop function, we are going to start uh, the transmission and after that we are going to end it and after that we are going to read and request two bytes of data as you can see raw ADC MSB and LSB and here comes the conversion of the data which is according to the data sheet and the formulas provided in the data sheet for AD799. At the very end of our code we have to display the output data onto the serial monitor which is the digital value of analog input and it's a raw value as let me tell you and these uh, are the exact coding lines. Now what do we require next is to have a look over the practicality of this code. Let's see how it works. Now we are going to have a look over the working of this sensor along with the Arduino code and for that we have to copy this entire code as you can see on my screen and we have to open up the terminal of the Arduino software IDE and after that here as you can see we have to paste the entire code and we have to save it by the name AD7999 for the reference and then we have to verify and compile the code, the sketch and it's done compiling then we have to upload the code on the Arduino IDE 
which means uh, we are going to upload it it's uploading and it's done that's great and after that we have to check for the output and for that we have to open up the serial monitor and as you can see we have the digital value of analog input it means the value is almost uh, zero as you can see on my screen it's constant because there is no connection among the channel one and crown terminal but instead when i try to connect it with a double a battery of 1.5 volt as you can see it's almost coming constant right now it's 48 it's the raw value which means a battery is connected onto the terminals regarding channel 1 and channel ground respectively so this is how the sensor responds now our next step is to look over the benefits applications and some of the features we have discussed AD7999 AD7999 is a 4 channel 8, 10, 12 bit analog to digital converter as you can see it's a low power successive approximation ADC with an I2C compatible interface each part operates from a single 2.7 volt to 5.5 volt power supply and features a 1 microsecond conversion time due to these features it is applicable in a lot of applications like system monitoring battery powered systems data acquisition and medical instruments well you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site you can download the code as a zip file also you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end i would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website for articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.